Okay, here's the deal. A gun safe, this is a Cabela's brand, but made by Liberty. Uh, electronic keypad, which is lit up here at the top. And um, I was nervous about buying these because I thought to myself, what happens if this device goes bad? And well, that happened. So I'm gonna show you what I had to go through to get this done. First of all, the first sign that it was going bad was that it kept giving me an error code when I would put in the code. So that's what you hear. And if you do that about three times, then it gives a periodic beep, which basically puts you in the penalty box for about five minutes, where it'll just beep constantly. And there's nothing you can do about it except for leave the room and then come back and try it later. So um, that, uh, that was the first sign, and that happened several times. I bought this safe about a year and a half ago, and all of the purchase information, receipt, all that kind of stuff was in the safe. So that did me no good and taught me a little bit of a lesson, but I did have a file with the basic pamphlets and so on, and a sheet that had the serial number of the safe. So I was able to then go to the Liberty website the Liberty website really didn't offer any help other than the number for customer service and an email address for customer service. So I went to that email, sent them an email explaining the problem, and they got right back to me in a couple of days and suggested a fix. The suggested fix was to take the um, keypad off Take the battery out, take the keypad off, which was pretty easy. And then go to this circuit board here. And there's four little, there's a piece of tape or something over here. The instructions aren't super clear on that. But you take a pair of tweezers or I took a pocket knife and just remove that piece of tape. And then it suggests um, remembering where these toggles are set. So some are up and some are down. And it says to take a small instrument and move those toggles back and up and down, up and down, and then back into their original places, plug it back in and try it, and that didn't work. Customer service told me that that works about 60% of the time. So I sent them an email and I uh, told them that it didn't work. And the next correspondence I got from them was a an email with a receipt for the new keypad they were sending me and um it uh, that was easy as that so there was no text other than the what looked like a purchase order with no cost and uh, so then i figured out that they sent me a new keypad even though they sent the the purchase order that indicated I was getting a new keypad for free. I didn't hear anything for about three weeks. And so um, I finally called customer service at that number and I got put into a queue and it was on hold for a long time. Just that's kind of the way it is today. And then I, um, they have an option where you can press a button and remain in the queue and get a call back. So uh, they did call me back in less than an hour, and I talked to a guy who was able to track the package, and just turns out it was showing up on the same day I was calling him, and it did. In fact, about 30 seconds after I got off the phone, it showed up in the mailbox. Removing the keypad is very simple. You take off this chrome cover, and then the battery sits in the side. Uh, if you have a safe, you know this already. And so you take that battery out and take it off. And then the keypad on this particular safe, you remove it by pushing up and it just comes off of these uh, two screws. Just like hanging a picture, there's a, I'll just fit over the screws. So now what you have is the uh, keypad is connected like with an old, like with a telephone 
uh, type of cord where you push down the tab and pull this out. It's not super handy to do and my big fingers don't help, but you just push down the tab and pull it out and then that's what you're working with now. So at this point then you can go over uh, to the new keypad, take that old one off and get ready to put the new one on. The new keypad will come like this with this cord on it and uh, you can't just use it the way it is because this cord goes into the safe and connects to the lock. So you're going to have to remove this cord by pressing down the uh, tab and pulling it out. Okay, once you have the new keypad plugged in, be patient. It takes a little bit of uh, patience to do that. Uh, push this wire in a little bit to get it out of the way. Line up these holes again with the uh, screws and push down until it clicks and your new keypad is in. Then put the uh, new battery in. Put the new battery in, try your code. And the safe opens. The fix is easy as that. It um, took a little bit of time, a few weeks to get done, but that's how you save it. That's how you save your uh, stuff. So uh, battery goes back in, chrome cover goes back on, and you're back in business.